Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct a polygon, a regular polygon, but the number of sides that are given is 9. But the question goes like this, it says, using the application of general method, construct a polygon, a regular polygon of one side AB 50 millimeter and N is equal to 9 and also name the polygon. So in this kind of case now, first of all, a regular polygon is a, poly is a polygon, right, that has all its sides equal. Now, we said the number of sides N is equal to what? 9. So the kind of polygon that have 9 sides is called what? A nonagon. So we want to construct a nonagon using general method. And we're giving one of its sides to be what? 50 millimeter. So the first thing you first of all draw, you take your metal rule, your T-square, you place it, and you draw your horizontal line this way. So on that horizontal line, we are told one of the sides is what? 50. You mark a point, let's say this is my point um, A, here, right? Then I'll measure 50. So that's one side. One side is what? 50. So this is 0. 10 and from here to is what is 50 here. So since it's 50, I'll say that my word my B. Now the next thing I'll do is to bisect A and B so I can get the center. So if I bisect A and D, A and B here, this way, I bisect it this way, right? I'll have this up and what and down. I'll come here also. I'll come here also. I'll by set up and what and down. When I mean down, I mean down. This is what I'm trying to show you here. This is what you mean here. If I set up and what and down. So We've got in two points, which is this and this. So I'm going to take my metal rule and I'll connect those three points together, those two points together. But look at what I will do. I will not bring it down here. I'll just gauge it. And I'll leave the, the top this way. And I'll stop here. You can see that? I'm going to stop here. Now the next thing I'll do, I'll take my C square and C square right and i'll place it this way all good i'll place it this way on a square then move it this side should be for 60 right and that will be my point 0.6 then i'll take my 45 degree and control that to 45 degree so i'll place it on that point is for five right so from the point here i'll construct my what five here this is what we have here so this is what for my point four four to five sixty right now the next thing we should know very well that the angle here like i said earlier is angle 45 let me just do that the angle of this point here And this point here so the angle here and here this is 45 and here and here is what 60 so note that so the next thing I'll do after I've gotten 0 0.4 and 6 is to get 0 0.5 right so for me to get 0 0.5 I am going to bisect Four and six. So if I place it this way to this point six here. You can see that. So I place it here and here. This point six here. So I'll strike an arc towards the left. And I'll come to that same point towards the right, which will just four and six. Then I'll move it to six. I'll do the same thing here. 
and I'll do the same thing here. So this is what we have here. So I'll take my meter rule and I'll connect those two points this way. This two point here. So let's take this way. So where they meet here is my point what? Point five. Now we are told to draw nine sided polygon. I will say n is equal to nine. So I will take the measurement of four and five, or if I like, I'll take four, five and six. Then I'll keep marking. This is seven. This is eight, and this is what nine, right? So six, seven, eight. Nine. So this is the point. I need nine sides. So I'll now take my compass to where nine is with the radius of A. You can see that? Radius of A here. Then I'm going to draw. I'll draw this way. This is what we have here. Let me show you. That is what we have. Right? So this is what we have. So let's go there. Let's see. So that's what we have there. Nine and what? Nine and six. So let's move forward. So from here, we've got in, this is a circle, you know, see what I did? I placed it on 9, right, on the point 9, which is just A, and I drew my circle this way. Now, we'll move forward. From that radius 9, look at what I want to do here. From here, I will not take point A to B. You can see that? Point A to B as my radius. I'm going to mark left and I'll come to B. I'll mark right. So this is one side. From here to here is one side. From here to here another side making two sides. From here to another side making three sides. I'll come here again. I'm going to mark that is four side. I'll come here too. I'm going to mark. That is five side. I'll come here too. I'm going to mark. That is six side. I'll come here too. I'm going to mark. That is seven side. I'll come here too. I'm going to mark. Right? I'm marking. Let me show you what I'm marking here. So if you look at this. That is what I'm marking. So this point here is eight side and nine side. So I've successfully gotten all the sides I need. You can see all the sides that I need. So what I'm going to actually do here is this. So what I'm actually do here is this. I'm going to join all the points starting from point A B. So let's start from point A B. So from point A, I'll draw. It is one side. You see that? The next one is two side. The next one is three side. The next one is. Four, right? Then I'll come here. This one is five. This one is six. Then we have seven. Then we have eight and. Um, Nine. 
So this is the nine sided polygon. If you count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's called a nine sided polygon, which is called a nunagon, right? It's the nunagon. And all the sides are what? 50. All the sides are equal. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.